just chat around the table again. Let's hear your, your comments uh, on the... Okay, so on the first one, clockwise, right? Yeah, uh, yeah let's... Uh, uh, I'd, I'd start with number 4409, which I would call, probably make a special release and call Battlefield Whiskey or Hunter's Whiskey or whatever, because uh, it's so much sulfur, gunpowder in the nose, and uh, EM has added uh, a lot of water, much more than I do, yeah. that, and it uh, tastes of burnt matches, so it's yeah. exactly yeah. like gunpowder... Uh, so it's quite distinctive, I agree. It's, it's yeah, so sort of we would definitely, I, I think they would definitely discard it for... Uh, uh, for this bottling, that uh, if a special like gunpowder bottling would be made. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the, the Flint <laughs> edition. Yeah, Flint the edition. Flint collection. Now, the two other guys, I, I think the, these are great, both of them, uh, 84 and 14, and uh, actually I'm, I'm a gloss, which, which is uh, uh, my more favorite, because in uh, uh, 14, uh, in, uh, yep. in 14, it's, it's interesting, you can find it in malt, malt which is uh, normally the, this bratty character which uh, normally hides uh, after so many years and, mm -hmm. and I think it's nice. Yes. Mm. It's, it's nice to have this like, yes. real good malt character. Uh, and also, the, uh, uh, the, the, not, not the palate, but the, the uh, palette of uh, aromas is uh, very different uh, from, from others uh, if uh, normally you get like the like yeah, it fruity is. here it's m more floral and uh, like light yeah, flowers, flowers uh, yeah, yeah, spicy yeah. so the, the bouquet of this whiskey is <coughs> really fantastic uh, like really interesting uh, it just tastes of a little bit of lemonade it's got like complex and unusual flavor yes mm. that's what I like it uh, the taste of it, uh, I think, is best of all, well, of all two, right? Uh, so it's sweet, fruity, spicy. It, it, it's not as bitter as the rest because in, in the rest samples we have discovered uh, a lot of them are bitter. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. To this or, or that extent. Mm -hmm. This doesn't have this, this bitterness. And uh, the uh, finish is, uh, well, long, balanced, uh, whatever word, uh, ordinary word you say is, is right here. So. Uh, Color-wise, nose-wise, uh, taste-wise, th 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 this, this is probably, probably, uh, yeah, my favorite. And okay. okay. Eighty-four. Uh, Eighty-four. Uh, I like that uh, it has a lot of like citrusy notes, uh, like lemony, maybe orange marmalade, mm -hmm. and, and, and stuff like that. So, and uh, uh, it's balanced with uh, like uh, uh, delicate notes of old leather. It's very good, uh, like in previewing also, the, the balance of aromas is totally different. But it's a little bit spirity, I think. On, on the nose, mm -hmm. it's biting. Mm -hmm. Although the strength of it was lower than the, the, those it samples. Was. But uh, yeah. it, 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 even after adding water, uh, it was uh, a little bitey on the nose. Uh, I wasn't adding as much water as uh, uh, Ian did, but, but still, I, mean, uh, I diluted to like 30 something, for me at least. It, yes. I, I think it was a little, uh, a little spirity. Um, so probably okay, I would so go, go for, for four, 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 one, yeah. four. Okay, yeah. that's good. Four, Thank four, you very much. Thanks for comments. The third one. The third, no, third one. Okay. okay. Um, this is really difficult. I mean, um, I'm looking back also to, to the, the first round, and uh, so for me, are no more options because all three of of them are quite interesting. I mean, um, number two. Beautiful nose, disappointing in the palate. Uh -huh. Really disappointing for uh -huh. me. I mean, it's a personal impression. Uh -huh. um, and again, if, if 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 I could produce a mixture between number one and number three, this would be the ideal for me. I like the nose of number three, but I like the taste of number one. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> it's really difficult at the moment. Yeah, uh, but. Uh, I, I could agree with number with the, the third one with the fourteen, but uh, I could also 14. agree with the uh, with the eighty four. Okay. Well, uh, okay. for me it also I yeah. couldn't make up uh, my mind which but, one. But but still okay. we have we, we have uh, number the first first number three of the first round. Yes. Okay. So it will not be an easy decision at the moment. But no. Okay. So we're discussing it for you or all six now? But, uh, oh, no, let's just carry it, on with, it, with uh, 77. We, 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 with, uh, about yeah. the number two, I mean, what, what I was thinking about, because of this bitterness at the end, shouldn't I try it with, with, with dark chocolate or with one of my favorite espressos? Probably it would work, huh? 
would give a whiskey for a very special occasion for my four o'clock espresso. Yeah. <laughs> that's a very specific market. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 have a lot yeah. of explanatory notes on the label, the, I think. For the next yeah. 60 days, I would have a, a whiskey for my espresso. That's it. Well, yeah. the Italians How many have, have, have a name for It is not just for the four o'clock one. Cafe Concoretto. There's something to be said there. For, for, for the last one of the day, when I start with chocolate and espresso and this, yes. I think about Could cigars be. also. Cigars also it's, work it's with with bitter appetite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cigar. Cigar. Yeah. Probably yeah. for the cigar, I would go for for that one. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it has this leathery tobacco yeah. impression for me. Because if it's yeah. just fruity, it's just the tobacco is lost. Yeah, or the whiskey is lost in tobacco. Okay, fair enough. So, Jim, you should, you should you try yourself. Out, but uh, did you have That's, smoke? I mean, bags? of the three, <laughs> I, I found number two to, to obviously be the most unique. Yeah, and racy and, and yeah. just off the beaten <clears throat> path and definitely yes. not something that I would expect, perhaps, yes. from this house. Yeah. Um, and in that sense, I, I, didn't, I didn't enjoy it the most out no. of the three. Okay. Uh, I, I tended to enjoy. Uh, the last one, one four, uh, the most. Um, it, uh, again, it's a. It was a strong battle between um, eight four and one four, and I'm shocked and surprised that oh nine and one four were so on the same day yeah. and so different. And and yet, you know, eight four and one four have a common thread. Uh -huh. um, I particularly preferred one four for all of the qualities. The nose, mm. the taste, the finish, and also, you know, I, I really am kind of getting around Walter's point about what the house does or what you're known for, and 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 perhaps if you're able to to sticking to that and mm -hmm. also um, providing something that's unique, and you know, we all know that if we don't, you know, we need to grow and change or or we die, and and I think that uh, one four really is it. I found it to be amazing, excellent, yeah. elegant, beautiful, and, and yet still having lemon. And you know, I, I got I got lemon, and then I got leather. That's very cool. Yes, exactly. Yes, I wrote I wrote lemon thyme, lemon balm, yeah, yeah. and then I wrote <laughs> unbelievable, yeah. and then leather. Yes, like, yes. Okay. you know, yeah. and even if you want to dig deeper, that's um, bergamot. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it, it has a, a, a distinct uh -huh. lemon flavor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very cool. Yeah. Okay. That's unusual. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. That's good comments. Thank you. Uh, as I'm always last, there's not much yeah. to say. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's used all the descriptions no, by the time it gets to me. As long as agree with everyone else, that's all about. I totally disagree. That's it. Um, well, uh -huh. no, I, like, like the rest of the panel, I discounted 4409 simply because it was too unusual, too sulfury on the nose. Yes. Um, interesting for an independent bottling, perhaps something like that, but but not for, for mm. what we're looking for here. Again, like everybody else, between the other two, very, very close. They're both beautiful whiskies. Yes. Uh, I would have opted for the first one, 4084. I thought it was very slightly more complex. I liked there's a kind of delicate smokiness to it, as well as the leather coming through on the nose and on mm. the palate. I got a kind of persistent smokiness with that that I didn't mm -hmm. get perhaps with 4414. Having said that, um, you know, I'd be happy with either of those. I, yes. th I think they're both lovely whiskies. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank so. you. Okay. Mm. Well, I think I said at the beginning, I agree, 4409 is more typical of a, it's almost typical of a fresh sherry cask because it is really quite oaky and it has got that sort of sulfury sherry you know what you might get from a first fill sherry cask although it probably isn't a first fill sherry cask so I, I would probably rule it out because it's probably dominating Glenfiddich a little, bit, a little bit too much as well so I agree with, with you both here my, I pretend to go for 4414 as well although it's 4084 is very nice as well this is, this is nice and it's, it's not dominating the whiskey but it's still got that sherry character that, that we're looking for because it is a sherry cask at the end of the day but it still shows Glenfiddich. So, more, so more the, the, the question is really, uh, are we more, as a panel, sort of more homing in on the, the 77s rather than the 75s? I know Walter still quite likes the, yep. the say, 4706. Yep. So can I just thank you all very much. We've had a great debate around the table. Uh, thank you for all your comments. Uh, 
Okay, we've seen six very different glenfiddichs here, all for American oak casks. And I'm delighted that we've managed to select a, a wonderful example of glenfiddich from a sherry cask, uh, 1977 glenfiddich cask number 4414. So again, thank you all for coming here today. It's been great for me, and I hope you've all enjoyed it. And I think we've selected a great glenfiddich. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.